Well, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on producing random numbers that are uniformly distributed using SPSS. Oftentimes in counseling research, particularly when demonstrating statistics, it's useful for us to be able to create random variables that follow a uniform distribution. That is a distribution with a constant probability. So if we're viewing a uniform distribution on a histogram, we would expect all the bars to be the same length or approximately the same length. So I'm going to create a, a couple of random variables here that are uniformly distributed. I'm going to go into transform, compute variable, and the first variable I'm going to call random variable 1. And you'll see here I have an ID variable that has 100 values so that when I produce this random variable, it'll be populated with 100 values. So the numeric expression for a random variable that is uniformly distributed is found in the function group under random numbers. And you can see there's several distributions available here. I'm going to select rv.uniform. And you can see the arguments for this function are minimum and maximum. So I'm going to double click this. And let's say for the minimum, I'll enter 0. And then for the maximum, I'll enter 10. So when I click OK, I should get a random variable that's uniformly distributed with a minimum value of 0 and a maximum value of 10. So you can see I have that variable here, and I'm going to create a second one just by changing RV1 to RV2. And I'll hit OK again. And you see there's different values here, but both of these should be uniformly distributed. So I'm going to test to see if these are uniformly distributed using graphs and chart builder. And this is what the dialog looks like by default. I'm going to select histogram and drag that into this main chart preview. And first I'll take a look at random variable 1 and click OK. And we can see that there are some deviations here in length between these bars, but generally this does appear fairly flat, which is what we would expect for data that are uniformly distributed. So I'll go back in right from this output view to Chart Builder, and I'll substitute in random variable 2 in place of random variable 1, and click OK. And again, there's deviation, especially here at the low end, but generally these are close to the same length. I also want to test this. I'm going to use a one sample Komal Groff Smirnoff test for that. So I'm going to go to Analyze, Non-Parametric Statistics, Legacy Dialogues, One Sample KS, Komal Groff Smirnoff. And I can load both variables into the test variable list. Under Options, I'm just going to add Descriptives. But down here where it says Test Distribution, you can see there's four options. I'm going to uncheck normal. I'm going to check uniform. Click OK. And you can see the output provides us the mean for both random variables and the standard deviations. So for the first random variable, the mean was a little lower and the standard deviation was a little lower, a little higher for the second. And then you have the minimum and maximum values for random variable 1 and random variable 2. We're also given the sample size here, which is 100. And that's for random variable 1 and for random variable 2. The minimum and maximum values again. The most extreme differences are listed here. The Komogorov-Smirnov-Z st uh, statistic is listed here. 
and then you have the p-value. And this is what we want to interpret along with those histograms to determine whether the data in these variables are uniformly distributed. So in this case, what we're looking for to see that they are uniformly distributed is a non-statistically significant result. So a value here that is greater than 0 0.05. And we can see in this case that for random variable one, we have 0.125. That is not statistically significant. So we would assume that this variable is uniformly distributed. And similarly, for random variable two, we have a p-value of 0.443. Again, that is not statistically significant. So we would assume that random variable two is also uniformly distributed. I hope you found this video on producing random numbers that follow the uniform distribution using SPSS to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.